Yeah. It's shocking to me that so many uh, followers of Jesus are so fearful and, and um, don't want to build bridges or, or don't want to recognize the commonalities, when in fact we have more in common Muslims than we do many of our secular brothers and even in Jews. So um, I really appreciate and I think we need to emphasize bridges, uh, commonalities, but it's the goal of uh, working for the common good and for peace. Yeah. Um, one of the books, I don't have that one, but I do have this one excellent book, Mustafa <coughs> Akhil, Come Without Extremes. Uh, Mustafa is a friend of Peace Catalyst, and one of the reasons I like this book is because it's, it's very scholarly, uh, and he does give a Muslim case for liberty, and I think when I hear someone like him, uh, I mean, he would have to be the one that would speak more to the conservatives now, come to the table with the conservative Christians, but... I think that's an excellent uh, book as well. Yeah, yeah maybe we'll go into yeah, detail. I think, I, yeah. I, I think what helps me a lot when I talk to other people is that I am, uh, before I was moved to Islam, I'm, I'm also an ordained reverend uh, and was for many years. Uh, so I've, I've seen both sides, and, you know, and, and I think I have sometimes an easier, uh, an easier time understanding where other people are coming from. Um, but uh, the biggest part of that is uh, just trying to, having an open mind like you just said, and, and be willing to understand other people's views rather than going and listening to learn rather than listening to make a remark. Yeah. 